Hi, my name is Lilou. I'm a grad assistant here at Napier University in interior and spatial design. So for interior and spatial design, in your portfolio, you have to have experiment drawings, sketches. Uh, if you do a bit of photography, it's good too. A lot of 3D work. It doesn't need to be like a building or architecture, even if it's, I don't know, work with clay, anything that shows that you've been working with 3D. If you can have technical drawings, that's always a plus, but it's not an obligation. And just things that shows that you're experimenting with your own style in general. Please don't overcrowd your pages. <laughs> it's the worst for an employer or anyone that is looking at your portfolio because then you don't know what to look at. The goal of your portfolio is to amplify your work and value your work and not to be like, prod it and show a lot of things. So white space is your best friend. And also as you start, since you'll be an applicant, you might not already have a style in your layout. So just go minimalistic. Don't play with too much font and like too much graphics and things like that. Just do it simple. Look at examples on Behance and Pinterest. Well, I did a few portfolio sessions already uh, and looked in quite a lot of portfolios because I've been in this industry for eight years now. <laughs> when I look at a portfolio, I like to see something that is quite clean, where the line alignment of images and text and how it, the text is justified is well done. I would recommend also not having more than three different types of fonts. I like to see the style in harmony throughout the portfolio. That's one of of the thing that keeps me on looking at it. Uh, if I see that it changes too much, I'm kind of what's happening. And if it doesn't change at all, I'm bored of it. Ideally, the shortest, the better, because people just don't look at your portfolio for that much time. <laughs> Take your portfolio as a story. It's like a little character going through your portfolio and visiting your portfolio, basically. I have my portfolio actually here. Do yeah. you? Yeah. yeah, it's my graduate one. Oh, it should be here because at some point, uh... oh, they moved it here. That's my portfolio. Doesn't look like it would interfere with special design portfolio at all. But yeah, I think you can kind of see my personality a bit more now compared to a portfolio I did in other years. So you would say that's quite an important thing about portfolio then in terms of... Yeah, you can see like the cover is something that makes it that people will pick it up. It, it has to continue in the inside, obviously. Like if the cover is really nice and really like colorful or impactful and the interior of the portfolio then is like just random pictures, it's not very nice. I use InDesign, which is as a designer what you will use the most for everything layout related, but it's also paid software. So you can also use PowerPoint, it works as well. For contextual applicants, we offer just a little bit of extra support with your portfolio. You can check our website to see if you would be considered a contextual applicant. If you are a contextual applicant, then instead of just being requested to submit a portfolio, we'll get in touch with you and we'll offer you short portfolio support sessions over the course of the three week period before you submit it. Send an email to either a grad assistant in interior and special design or the program leader Paul Kerlaf or Shona or Seki at Napier University. I know it's hard to start making a portfolio, just open the maximum pages you can have and throw all of the content you have on the pages, doesn't need to be laid out and then it helps making it, you just play with it basically. So enjoy yourself, show yourself off at your best. We look forward to seeing all your portfolios.